comes off both my shoulders, hitting both his shins simultaneously. So I'm here, I'm moving. Three position, here, boom. My shoulders hit and basically tackle his ankles. If I can, I'll lock my hands right here, right behind his feet. And then now, once he's on his butt, I want to keep his legs split. So, because we're going to go to a low leg cradle here. So what I want to do is pick a leg. He's trying to belly up, right? He's pretty much known he's already taken down and he's going to be shooting to his belly. What I'm going to do is pick whatever leg he goes to is going to be the bottom leg. So right now, Austin turned this way. I'm going to stay on his left leg and I'm going to shoot my hand up through and then I'm going to shelf his foot up here, like just like this. So I got his ankle between my chest and my leg trapping my arm. Now here, I don't want to take, I don't want to rush this. So, pull it up this way. So once I'm here, I got this shelf. He's not really going to be able to get this. He might try and get his other leg over and square up. What I'm trying to do to prevent that is keep my leg, basically my shoulder high up so that he can't do that. Now here, what I'm going to do is reach up and grab her arm. I got this shelf between my body and leg, so I'm not too worried about him getting this out. I'm gonna try and grab control of his wrist. Once I got his wrist, I'm gonna pull this arm down and hand it off to my hand that's underneath his leg. Now here, I'm gonna reach for that head and basically scoop his head, and then I'm gonna step towards it with this leg. So I step, scoop, here, Lock this up. Now, I'm going to keep this leg tight and I'm going to walk towards his head. This is a very hard thing to get out of. If you get this, you should be able to pin this guy. Because there's almost a lot of break. So, from the top again. So, we're here, moving. You can shoot this one all, like straight on. So, the low single, I don't prefer to shoot straight on. You can do it. A low double, you absolutely can shoot straight on. You just gotta be a little faster. So, the other thing too, if you miss the low double, it's just a low single. So if I go here for a low double, now this one I'm not switching knees, I'm just hitting my knee in the middle. I go like this, I want both ankles. If I miss and he steps one foot back in time, it's just a low single. But, if I get both feet and both shoulders hit the shins, He'll fall. Just like that. Now, off that, I pick a leg. He's going to belly out. Shelf. Over here. Turn towards us. So, I shelfed it up to my leg, my chest, and my arm. Now, this guy's good. He's trying to square up. I'm keeping his legs split with my body. Once I can get a hand, I grab a hand. Pull it back towards me. Arm that's on this side, keeping the leg split. Grabs his arm. Now, you can either grab it like we hold a wrist here, my thumb and my middle finger, meaning around the ball joint, or you can almost do it like a bicep curl and hold it without your thumb. So, like that, I pull it tight to his own leg, reach for his head, I step up, one from here. Lock this up, tight grip, walk towards his head, drop the hip, pin it. 